Well lads, what's the crack? My name is RJ Runner and welcome back to Gone Home and my awkwardly weird hair. God, lockdown has been a bitch. I can't cut my own hair, I need a cut. Long hair doesn't suit me because I am slowly losing it day by day. But oh well, I'll come to that, uh, that post when I come to it. Uh, any, in, anywho, in, anywho, did I say that post? Um, well, yeah, that, that doesn't, doesn't matter. Weird intro, I know. Either way. We are back and gone home. We are trying to figure out what the hell we're doing in this basement. Looking for more clues. Oh, one of Dad's books with something stuck to it? Question mark. Oh, God. Why did I do that? Will you stop throwing the book? Stop, stop, stop. Oh. Uh, yeah, I need to go to a better lit area. Dear Terence, thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book. An artist's first published manuscript is a momentous occasion. I read it this afternoon. I certainly recognize my son in the subject matter. An artist's work is the externalization this, did I pronounce that right? Externalization of which he holds dear and that which he fears, and in this respect I believe your work was successful. But the lens through which the personal Sean was needlessly clouded by the genre cliches and implausible dime store science fictional De Ex Machina. The great artists speak of their lives, Milo, in clear and honest tones. The lens crystal that refracts their thoughts without distortion. I congratulate you on surviving the great ordeal that is publication, and rest assured that the readers of your chosen genre will lap up copies hungrily. But I urge you to shed artifice. Artifice? You can do better. With a father's love and encouragement, Richard Greenbrier, PhD. Ah, oh, that's nice. You can do better. Oh, he had that pinned up on his uh, cork board as well in his office. Oh, that's nice. Words of encouragement. And something caught my eye here. Did you already pick this up and read it? I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans like, you should come visit me. Stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Aw, that's... that's sad. Anyway, Joyce, a complete understanding. Richard Greenbrier, PhD. Okay, I guess, um... Authorship, penmanship, writing, book worminess runs through the family. Our dad is a writer, his dad was, was a writer, and now little Sam wants to be a writer. Oh, I think that's mom's citizenship stuff. Okay, certificate of nationalization. Uh, no, I, I can't make out any of that. Either way, our mom was from a different country? Perhaps. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here, she's from Canada. Oh, okay. So she came from Canada to America. Oh, okay. That that's that's very nice to know. Because I I like how how uh, this game doesn't solely focus on the one character. If Excuse me, what the frick? Did anybody else hear that? I swear to Lucifer, it sounded like somebody was stomp stomping above me. I could hear that board creak. Are you telling me I'm not alone here? Are there going to be ghosty goose? Please don't let there be ghosty goose. I'm so not ready. So what else do we have here anyway? 
But, uh, like I was saying, it doesn't solely focus around one character, but rather nearly everyone in our, well, I won't say everyone in our family, but the main characters that are pertinent to the story here. So we've got uh, Oscar, we've got Dad, we've got uh, Granddaddy Greenbrier. See, everyone has a bit of a backstory, that's what I like. Oh, newspaper clipping. Mason's Pharmacy changes hands. The shoppers of Main Street were surprised today at the announcement that Mason's Pharmacy would change ownership for the first time since it opened 10 years ago. Rumors swirled that this wait, rumors swirled that the sudden sale of the pharmacy was transacted for for a song. When asked about the speculation that the deal had been signed for as little as $1, Mr. Samuel Onstein, Oscar's Oscar Mason's longtime assistant and now proprietor of Mason's Pharmacy told the register that specifics will remain between myself and Mr. Mason. Mr. Mason had taken sick and was unavailable for comment. Does that mean he went a little too lally? A little crazy? A little insane in the bam brain? Oh, puss. You cannot tell me that th that isn't footsteps above me. Again with the lighting. Oh, that's nice. Hey Sam, I'm writing to you from. Multana Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March and I don't know if anyone running the school has been to Oregon. But it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh shit. Here you come. L. <laughs> Funny. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Stick with the group. Is that a metaphor for something? She she repeated it a few times. Um, maybe she's saying go with the flow. Maybe she is questioning her sexuality after all. Maybe she thinks she's better off not being attracted to Lonnie. Maybe she's having doubts. Who knows? Either way, this is getting very deep. Getting very uh, heavy. Okay, so what is this area now? It's kind of creepy. Servants' quarters. Oh hell no 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 no. Ugh. Yeah, I I had an idea because um, years ago, years ago, years ago, years ago, I was in this place called Muckers House in County Kerry. Basically, it's this very old ancient house, and it's pretty much like like this. I forget what the purpose of it was. I guess some lords or ladies or mams or mams lived there at some point. Belonged to a very prestigious noble family, who knows. And in one part of the house, they had these little bells as well. And uh, basically, uh, I forget what they were for, but there's a bell... That was attached to another bell in, in each of the corresponding rooms here. So, like, I'm not sure what the purpose of them was. Obviously, a line of communications between the servants and their whoever they were serving at the, at the time. But uh, either way, it was a pretty pretty old house, pretty creepy house. Is what the point I'm trying to make. 
Yolanda de Soto, 90 hectare plus, wait, 2 hectare and Marie de Soto, 718 Vale, whatever that is, Miss Samantha Greenbrier, 1 Archer Hill, Boone County, OR, whatever that is, USA Roar, Go Lions and whatnot. Okay, today's Spanish lesson. Again, what's about the random noises? I hope that's fucking mice and not and not something creepy creeping about there. Oh, cassette. You know, I'm spending way too long here. Uh, let, let me just breeze through this. Uh, fly Mosca. Uh, I don't even know what the hell I'm trying to read this. So I, I can barely make it out. Dear Sam, I'm so happy you liked the drawing. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I knew you'd be able to tell. You'd love Mexico. I think probably the native here is talking. What? I think probably the nature here is totally different than back home. I keep thinking about what Allegra and the first mate lost on a mysterious island where even the plants are out to get them. And then I think of them together out there in the wilderness together and I start thinking of you again. I lie here in bed and I'm almost and I can almost feel you. I've been trying to save it up for when we were together again. I haven't done a good job, okay? But I tried. Okay, enough about that. Your last letter got to me the day before we started driving back north. We'll be racing this letter home. If I, if I get home first, we can read it together. And yes, I'm taking tons of photos. We'll have to spend so much time in the dark room. Love, Lonnie. Oh, cute. Very cute. And more crumple up paper here. Oh, and there, there's something else underneath here. Read page. It's like a drug. The first time in my room in the middle of the night, I woke up and Lonnie was kissing me. The clock said 3 What? <laughs> what the hell? I didn't put that down myself. I, I, I didn't. <laughs> Definitely not reading any... Come on, not gonna happen. Definitely not reading any more of that. Nope. I <laughs> oh come! On. I'll have to go over this when I'm when I'm editing the video. You can probably pause it and see what it, else it said, but I totally missed that. Okay, Girl Scout, the band formerly known as Clubs, whatever. Setlist, role model, authority, main squeeze, telling stories, instruction, first mate, self gratuitous and denial. So what is? That her Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so she's on stage it's incredible being in awe of someone you love so everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June but till then I'm gonna be at every single show no I, I, I like this I really do it has a really really deep backstory like it, it, it cuts you to the core it's, it's very deep I love it Goes to show you, like, I, I wish there was more games like this. I mean, the thing that I think was great about this game is that, like, how normalized the um, same-sex relationship structure of the game is. I mean, nowadays you have developers going off on Twitter saying, Oh, it's time for change. We need more of this. Down with the cis white male patriarchy. Mm -hmm. the games are too much of this and too much of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is bad marketing in my, in my humble opinion. Like, I'm all for uplifting marginalized voices. Air quotes. And marginalized people. But not at the cost of taking someone else down a peg if you know what I mean anywho enough of that uh, us 
Wait, well, orders this month one. I don't even know why I bother. I can't read that. And there is a locker combination here. I guess I find that later on, unless it's on this scrap of paper. But I don't think so. No, it's not. And I can't spin this around. No. Hey, 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 hey! Settle down, you. Now, I'm surprised some ghosty didn't show up out of nowhere, especially from this room, and try to reclaim their toy back. I mean, that's normally what happens. You take a weird, ancient, mysterious item, like a toy. I mean, look at this. This is ancient. It's old. It's, it's like something from the 80s. And then you expect some ghost child to ra randomly show up and grab your left ass cheek. Why your left ass cheek? I don't know. Could be your right. Anyway, uh, Terry, age 12, Thanksgiving 1963. Terry. Terrence, that must be our dad. So wait, did he live here when he was younger? Jeez, he was a tall fucker, wasn't he? Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, there's this little nook here. I didn't miss anything, no? good and oh another button x-ray specs good for you x-ray specs and there is a little oh form uh senwald fine jewelry jewelry semantic greenbrier number one arbor hill two and a half heart pendant one custom engraving l plus s cost 59.99 and 20 dollars so all together it's rounded up to we'll see 80 dollars ah oh, that that's adorable Young love. Wait, Girl Scouts. Oh, let's have a listen. Maybe this might be copyrighted. Okay, enough. Stop. 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 Hello. No one's gonna come out and greet me, are they? Okay, good. Goody goody gumdrops. How long have I been recording? Almost 20 minutes. Woo! Turn it on. What the hell? <gasps> oh, she's a pipe. Oh, why is this house so big and creepy? She just place is a maze. Ing. Oh, comic book. Women outlaws. This will show you who runs things around this joint. She's a tough one, a wild Mustang. No female is gonna tell me, yeah! That's a kick that shit out of him. <gasps> Heavens to Betsy. Another tape. Let, let's have a listen. Enough. Yeah, I'm not sure which songs are copyrighted, if any at all. Pota uh, potato and chips, good, good. At least we're eating good. Sonic Youth, The Amps, Bikini Kill, November 5th, Rosland. Pizza box, nothing in here, good. If there was something in there, that would disgust me. Good fellow senior high school, Samantha Greenbrier, one hour hill. Uh, dear Miss Green Greenbrier, I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. It showed initiative and was well written, but it does not change my mind that it's matter. While I understand that Miss DeSoto is a friend of yours, the fact that of the matter is that she defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student's doing the same to yours is immaterial. Or Yeah, immaterial. As to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in the incident, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward, and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop, as it will only bring your unwanted... Ugh, sorry. As it will only bring more unwanted attention on yourself, which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. Your sincerely, Principal Bottle. Okay, thanks. Mm. I don't get mommy sometimes. 
Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like, it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Yeah, it really goes to show you how much of a friend and how much of a lover Lonnie is to uh, little Sammy girl here. Okay, costumes, skeletons and devils, cheerleaders from the Smell Like Teen Spirit video, one girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. The Psycho House Girl, the coolest stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. Cool thing number one, everybody in the hall thinks, thinking you don't know what they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral. Oh, just peripheral, I thought you want to continue on. That's a lie to mom and dad. Oh, to mom and dad's situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very interesting. Hello. Uh, I hope we'll be recording half an hour now. Feels like I'm getting nowhere with this game. Oh, handle. Wait, where am I now? Oh! Yes, I was already here and... There's a note. Mason's Pharmacy, 196.3. Or is that 1163? No, 1963. Okay, so I have to go all the way down here again and hopefully not get jump scared god I wish we could run did I freaking close this myself So what was it? One ninety six three. One nine. Clickety three. Aha! Oh my God! What do we have here? Drugs? Hydrogen peroxide? What the hell would you be doing with this? Getting high off it? Oil of clove. Okay, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. These are all ingredients for summoning Satan or some sort of satanic demon. And what's this? Aquatil? Aqu uh, Aquatil? Uh, what else? What else? What's, what's this box? Solution of morphine. Tartrate. Tartrate. Maybe habit forming. Either that or somebody was getting high. And syringes. What else? Uh, do, 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 do. If I can just get the right angle. Biller run. No idea what half the stuff is. And a syringe. An orange syringe. Either that, okay, either satanic rituals or some sort of human experimentation, I don't know. <sighs> I will never know what any of these letters say, and it saddens me, it cuts me to the core. 
Like, this could all be relevant to the story. Or maybe not. Who knows? Uh, uh, either way, how long have I been recording? 30 minutes by my count. I'm go gonna guess maybe... Roughly this video could be about 25 minutes in length. Okay, so I didn't really find anything interesting down there. There's a hallway here. Yep, this place is creepy. Okay, now it's not as creepy. That sounds awfully like the random creaking I've been hearing around the house. Am I being freaking followed? Wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me to see the least. And it wouldn't surprise me if something creepy was lurking around this corner. But... 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 Earth, wind, fire... Oh, just earth, wind and fire. Thursday, February 23rd, 1995. So this was our ticket. Our ticket to that band we weren't supposed to go to see. We were a very naughty, naughty, naughty person. Hey Lonnie, sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She hardly ever... She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away and then when she's home she takes it out on you. Like because you're not a member of the family she knows you won't call her out on it. And I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. She she's just jealous of blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. I know she's just jealous of our cool and free free what? Free willing, free wheeling lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. Uh, I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to, you have to have a mom every day. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian, and her new husband Don is a complete total or is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind so you wouldn't rather live with your mom in florida no okay so again not everything is peachy with lonnie either there's obviously some drama going on in her own household but uh, you know how teenager, teenagers are. They're in their rebellious phase. And that's clearly what Lonnie and Sam are doing. They're just rebelling against their parents. You know, going against the grain. They don't like being told what to do. Okay, offer of promotion. Bruce Pendleton, head of personal state forestry service. Your head conservatives. Yada, 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 yada. You got promotion. Good for you, Ma Greenbrier. You're moving up in the world. Anyway, guys, I've been recording for a little too long. I'm trying, trying to keep these videos short. I thought I could do at least a 10 or 15 minute video, but it, <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I just get too uh, sucked into the game is, is what I'm saying. But maybe, maybe the next video will be the last. This is part five, I should add. I haven't even recorded or sorry, I haven't edited the third or fourth part yet. I'm in the process right now of editing part 3, then part 4 will come next in this. I'm just recording these in bulk, so I'm not sure what way I'll put them up. I don't really have any plan as such. What I want to do is, as I said before, have some sort of filler in between each video. So I don't want to have like a string of gone home on my YouTube timeline or my YouTube uploads. I don't like doing YouTube that way. I prefer to have more uh, variety on my channel if that makes any sense of course it makes sense everything makes sense eventually any way guys i've been rambling on too long if you did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course as always i will see you in the next one so until next time see ya